boys, boys, boys and girls. Okay, here's proof that I worked a bit last night. Um, the whole idea was to build this one siding for now, just so that I can have a train pass another train. So I built this whole thing here all the way down so that we have a siding um, where the train can pull out. Maybe, you see it's a long weekend here by us, so maybe later I will make a scene. <laughs> the first third rail scene on the layout. Yes, so this, so I only put power. Where did I put the power? Uh, I've only put two droppers in here. Where did I put them? Just to give it power, yeah. Just to give power through. Um, and I checked it now, it's got, it's got, it's got power all the way um, down. But I thought, you know what, eh? We are like family. So, I promise you that if there's a stuff up, I will post a video. Because <laughs> I haven't run this train through here yet. And I would love to see what it does. So, what you see is what I see. So, if there's a stuff up, then I'll have to fix it. Okay, I also worked on these two a bit. You can see the blue one's got its hooters back on. Because they broke off years ago. And the red one, I put on the programmer, the ESU programmer, and I upped the smoke a bit so that they both now smoke ridiculously much. But, yes. Okay, dude, so let's do this. Let's start them up and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? A major derailment, I guess. So, see, I'm gonna go like that. I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous because the table's uneven here and I had to sort of make shift the point here. Let's go. Well, if you stand back and you, you look at it from this angle, what do you guys think? That is not, nah, man, that's not too awkward an angle. It's not too awkward an angle. I was worried about that. You know, that zigzags too much. But it makes sort of straight there. Just, these wagons are long. With a freight train, you won't even notice it. But, well, let's see at the top there. Let's 
see what it does there. Oh, there's a whole load of smoke here. You see so that? Nah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. This is the thing with the Lajas Creek points. They're very, they're nine degrees, so you never have that way zigzag movement. It's actually worse this side than it is that side, because I think I went into the corner quicker here. All right, well, dudes, so it went through. Now there's only one more thing to do. And that's give it some speed <coughs> and then hope and pray that nothing falls on the floor i don't know but can you feel the tension let's give it some look the speed i normally run it at not this fast, but this is faster than I normally run it. Look, I'm going to stand here close to the controller and hit the stop button if something goes wrong here. I'm sweating. This is actually the tense stuff. Look if it goes through here at this speed. Looks like it did it. That side's very smooth. Much smoother than here. I must just stick my track here. And I don't think I've tightened this this um this point down yet. Well put all the screws in, but yeah. Just basically just to check what's gonna happen here. Well if it does it twice. I actually want to show you of something. Uh, on the smoke. I've pressed F9 now, so I drive locked it. So it will keep that speed. So if I close the throttle, the sound will change. Oh, I've told you before. But the speed, is, it will be like that ghost And if you heat the smoke, first time in operation that I can actually check the smoke file. 
and see what they does. And it's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful smoke. All the guys that do large scale stuff, you know, invest the time, write yourself smoke files. It's just the right thing to do. It's just terrific. And uh, it looks like it's working. Dudes, so we have a siding. Right. Um, I will build a scene here. Not too much in the mood to work today. As I say, it's a long weekend. I should take off. <laughs> But uh, I'll build a scene and then we play a little bit tonight. We take the other train, make them move out the way and stuff like that. I'll see what I can come up with. I'll awake the Hollywood in me. pocket over there. So yes, what I did see was that um, it will stand in the second one, but wait, I, I actually just let's check this quickly. I don't think the other the other parking next to it, you know that that side of it, you'll be able to enter when the Tom Scarus park there. But it will keep the second line here open so something can pass. Just check. I haven't even checked this. Just to see where it stands. It's a long train. so we can see where where the ass end and the nose is can do here but let's just check for now where the concert stands check the smoke there check up top there. Look straight. Uh, you see, so it won't make it to the 
next one there, if it stands like this, we'll be out of the way of the second track. Just check how far we are up top here. Yeah, it's not big enough. So if you want to keep the trans on the northbound one, you have to uh, make it stand on the second track here and pass on that track there. And the second part being the main line. So yeah, um, otherwise I must take it southbound. So it can, over there, there's plenty space. There's much, much longer space there. Even the shortest one there is longer than the longest one here. So otherwise I just turn them and run the Transkaru on the southbound. And then that should sort it. So what do you think, dudes? We have a siding. Lacquer yellow. Okay, so let me go see what's going on at the top there, why it's all fooking. But so far, so good. Um, yes, I think I'm gonna have coffee first, just to sort of calm the nerves. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll speak later. Okay, yellow okies, tot ziens.